Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Celtic Save. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go on, tickle the like button while you're at it. Uh, we're just about to accept a deal for Scott McKenna, six and a quarter million, fourteen grand a week. Um, we need a centre half who's Scottish. We're going to need Scottish players for next year. Uh, Max Kilman. That deal with Wolves. Boom, got done. St. Johnston are after our fullback, who looks like a bit of a prospect. Um, I don't want to let him go just yet. Uh, Raul Torrente, this is the centre half we're looking at. Looks to business. Torrente sets a sign, and I think he's going to go straight back to them on loan. Scotty Robertson is going out on loan as well. Um, there you go. So he's happy about that. <sighs> right, let's go to transfers. Um, transfer history. Here we go. Right, Said Haksabanovic has gone to Inter for ten and a quarter million plus a sell-on uh, clause. As you can hear, Jess screaming in the background. Uh, Agustin Guiai signed uh, from San Lorenzo for 4.8 million, rising to six and a quarter million. He went straight back to San Lorenzo on loan. Uh, I got Thiago Santos from Estoril Praia, 2.6 million. Um, he is going to cover a uh, right back for us, tackling 15. Acceleration agility 16, pace 15. He's a fast attacking fullback. He's 20 year old. He's a prospect. Um, I think he can do all right. He could go up to four and a half star uh, potential. And he's three star at the moment. So needs must. Uh, we sold Juranovic um, somewhat prematurely uh, <laughs> without actually having a right back uh, through the door. And we've um, basically been trying to uh, get some centre halves in. I think the business I've done, you know, I, I think I've done all right. You know, there's been a lot of players for the academy team. Um, but I think we're okay. I think we're we're going to be fine. Oh, hang on a second. So transfers in twenty five million when I joined the club. Uh, they spent twenty five million. Uh, that says 55, so I spent 30 million. And I don't think they'd brought anything in. Because um, I sold James McCarthy there. They'd brought in. They'd sold Christopher Julian to Montpellier for 850 grand. Oh, Julian. Um, but that was it. They sold. Uh, let's see. That was it. Um, so James McCarthy. Downwards, I think I sold. Bozen Lawal, did I? I think I sold him as well. Um, yeah, so that thirty nine and a half million, I brought in thirty nine million of it, roughly. So, um, we we are about to spend a little bit more. Hopefully, if these transfers go ahead, Raul Torrente will go back on loan. Um, yeah, I think they've gone through. So Scott McKenna, they are confirmation six and a quarter million. Um, he was transfer requested. Uh, he he made a transfer request, I should say. Um, so we jumped on that. Mats Kilman, again requested a transfer. That's eight and a half million going up to eleven and a quarter million. And Raúl Torrente eight million. So we have got three new centre halves in, but Raúl Torrente is going back to Granada on loan. Scott Robertson joins Saint Mirren on loan. Um, so let's have a little look, look what else is happening in this transfer window because it's been uh, it's been busy I've got to be honest sat here clicking away scouting away like you wouldn't believe well it looks as though we're going to get another centre half now Jordan Tuanariga um, application accepted um Oh, 
god, we need to sell the player. I'm gonna end up accepting that Leela better offer. Oh dear. Um, seven millions required. Um, our transfer budget at one point eight million. Eesh. So I've got a few players who are wanted by clubs at the moment. Um, Connor Hazard is wanted on loan by Brighton. David Turnbull wanted by Munchen Gladbach transfer. Kyogo wanted by Brighton on a transfer and Gigi wanted by PSV and Atletico Pamplona by transfer. Um, got an inbox here. So I've just signed a midfielder who's just been granted a work permit. Matus Franca uh, from Flamengo. Um, eight and a half million I think we just paid for him. Um, that's from the Lille Abada deal. Um, I've been trying to get Juan Basaka on loan <laughs> uh, to solve the right back issues. Um, yeah, they're not having any of it. Um, sign a few younger ones, 16 year olds, uh, for the academy. Um, Marlon Torres missed out on. So, who else we sign? Kerr Smith. Five and a half million from Aston Villa. 18 year old centre back. Looks very decent. Exciting young prospect. Um, who else? Um, Alexander King. Young midfielder. 275 grand from Morton. So I've been trying to uh, get a few players in. Um, but it's not as easy as I, I was hoping it would be. Um poor dear me, let's see. Lauren Ulrich eighteen year old fits the bill. But um Matus Franca. We're gonna have to send him on an extensive uh, language course. Get Falcao to welcome him. And Every time I suggest mandatory future fee 15 million, that's not a problem. Um, 600 grand a month, they want salaries basically. And I can't afford it, so we're going to have to cancel that. Marcus Holmgren Pedersen. Scouts keep tempting me with players, and we just cannot afford them. Um, so, right now. The squad, frankly, is big enough. Um, oh, I think Winston Reid has just gone to West Brom on a free as well. Transfer history. Um, was it Winston? Yeah, it was Winston Reid. He's gone on a free. Uh, Benny Jackson, Loyeye, has gone to Motherwell on loan. Leo Labada went to Juventus for £23 million and a signing... Uh, what you call it, not signing fee, a um, bloody, oh what's the word, uh, sell on clause, that's the one. You can see there, Kerr Smith, 5.5 million, rising to 6.5, Matthews Franca, 13, well 8.5 now, right, but that will be going up to 13.5. Um, Jordan Tiranariga, the defender, 9 million. Um, so, let me just, it says 13.5 there. For Matthews Franca. But I'm pretty sure we just just paid eight eight and a half million will be deducted. There you go. So it's eight and a half million. Ooh God. Who's Josh Eccles? From Coventry to Hearts contract offer. Yeah, this rumour of Jorge Cuenca, um, Villarreal to Celtic, just a rumour. There's no way, we haven't got 22.5 million. Uh, Ricardo Pereira, 13.5 million, got that either. Uh, this transfer deadline day is taking... Um, I've been recording now for like three hours. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's moving so slowly. Um, but I think... 
I think we're done. I've paid out some big money. Um, got in a few very, very good players though. Rural Walters. Cade Gordon. And Noah and Bamba. Yeah, that's good. 18 year old defensive midfielder. 3.3 .3 million. I think let's just scout him because I'm very aware I don't have any money. <laughs> uh, yeah, we rejected bids for Ben Summers as well. Uh, Yorge Cuenca, should we sign him? The fans are saying yes. Um, but I've just signed a lot of centre halves. It'd be silly to sign any more. Uh, although the fans are all saying sign players in defence. We could use a boost at centre back. They're taking the piss. <laughs> I got rid of I got rid of uh, Winston Reed and I think Carl Starfelt went to Sampdoria. I think he did. I'm sure he did. Uh, I'm not sure now. Um, definitely don't need any more centre backs. Why did nobody tell me about Lewis Strap at Morton? He looks bloody decent. He's Scottish. I need Scottish players. Um, five hundred and fifty grand. Okay. Do you know what? I'm I'm not gonna play around with them. I'm just gonna offer them. Ooh, hang on. Less than that. Three. Three seven five. There we go. Um, I was going to look for... I think he was called Lewis Neil, Nielsen. Maybe. Um, he's a player I remember we, we signed before. Um, let's scout him. Uh, Ryan Porteous was the other one, wasn't he? I always seem to sign Ryan Porteous. Yeah, we'll go. We're going for Lewis Strap because um, if Greg Taylor leaves through lack of game time, I'm going to need somebody. I need somebody there, um, and he will be an emergency backup. Uh, right. I'll tell you what, let's add a clause. Um, loan back, can we? Oh no. Finalise the deal. Can we get it done in time? There's three hours left. Oh, they want a loan back. Go on, we'll accept the loan back. Why not? I've been doing it for everybody else. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna end up <laughs> we're gonna end up loaning him back because I don't think we'll beat the deadline um, to get it done. Thomas Jacob, uh, no Giovanni. I remember a wonder kids with Giovanni and Angelo. Was it Brazilian kid called Angelo? Jaden Banel looks pretty good. Okay, so we got Lewis Strap through the door. That's good. Right. Looks as though that deal is just about to get done with two hours. Rangers to Burnley. Tom Lawrence, 29 year old attacking player. Done deal, 900 grand. And they're signing Sergio Pad, a goalkeeper, two year old. So Rangers doing a bit of business. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm not sure how much you heard of that. Um, let's see. Lewis Strap. 
Okay. Uh, last hour transfer deadline window. So it looks as though uh, transfer deadline day is now past. We've got a new sponsorship deal worth 18 million. Um, top transfer window deal Altai came in for 6 million, the keeper. And we sold a barter for 23 million. Um, when it says most players in 27, I am an absolute transfer addict. However, um, if we go to the transfers and we have a look at what's coming in, you can see we missed out on Wan Bissaka, but you can see they're all young lads joining for the B team. There's like 20 of them, it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> So, um, look at transfer history. We managed to get Lewis Strap deal done last minute, as you just seen, and send him back out and loan to Morton. Uh, yeah, that was seven players out, and um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, eleven players in. Um, but I'd say seven of them are kids because we got McKenna, Kilman, Torrente and Torrena Riga that's four centre halves we brought in um, senior players and the other seven are young players that Matthews Franca deal we just done um, he could be a five star potential ability centre midfielder I'm actually really quite chuffed we got him done um, I did have a little cheeky bid for that Endrick, um, but he had, well, it was 25 million quid all in, but, um, well, we didn't really have the money, and uh, so 15 million of that was in instalments, maybe 16, um, but also uh, he had no um, ambition to move to us. Cheeky little blighter. Um Thought he was above us. Well, now he's stuck in Brazil. Um, he's only 16 in the game. He's not all that in the game either. So we've got 13.5 million uh, Scottish record. Elgin's Montgomery wins player in a month. Oh, God. Let's see. Evan Easton is our player, I think. Josh Galloway. Um, 21, nah. So, I think we're playing Livingston now. They're third in the league. So, could be time for a few debuts. Somewhat amazing that we had all the money spent. Um, we're, we're looking quite good. There you go. B minus. Uh, and the squad, A minus. Um, the fans, B plus. They're not that enamoured with the squad at the moment, C plus. Um, but there we go. I didn't get rid of Benabi, he got injured. Uh, there was bids for players which weren't good enough. We managed to keep all the Turnbull and Gia Kamakis and Kyogo. Um, as you may be able to hear my dogs arguing in the background. Right, so. In goal, I think we're going to have to play Altai. Um, this is where it gets interesting now because... Um, Quite frankly, right back, I think Eddie Nielsen's still the dude uh, for that position. I did buy him as a midfielder, but, you know. Um, let's see. Carter Vickers. And... Serena Riga. 
Munos. Um, my and McGregor in midfield. On the right, Yotta. On the left, um, Kyogo. Correa through the middle as a tracker teaster. That number 10 roll. And Gia Kamakis, GG, up top. Um, that looks pretty good. Now we've got Fraley, who is sub keeper. Um, Thiago Santos, sub right back. Scott McKenna, sub, uh, sub uh, centre back. Greg Taylor, sub left back. Um, Montgomery's back from a long. Uh, Galliardini needs some fitness. Let's put him on the bench. Um, along with, oh god, who do we put there? Striker, we've got Belio and Falcao. Fafana for the right wing. Um, maybe Rojas. Oh my god, I'm leaving out Otero and Solbach and Turnbull, Belmonte. Ooh, Benabi. Rojo left out Rojo. Okay. Um. So we're looking pretty damn strong at the moment. So, this is likely to see us get absolutely beat by Livingston right now, which will make me cry. I I will legitimately cry. <laughs> we all hate Livy. <laughs> we all hate Livingston. So, um, let's see. I'm going to outstretched arms, stick to the plan, stay patient, we'll be fine. So first look, Turin Ariga and Carter Vickers at the back, they're not going to get mugged off by no one are they? Um, and we're top by 16 points from Rangers, um, Livingston only 4 points behind Rangers, they're doing quite well. So here we go. Um, I see Moy is not fully fit yet, so we probably will get Galliardini on the field. Moy will take the corner. Oh my word, Jordan Turin Ariga in first four minutes gets a goal from his head. Absolute powerful header. It's the first header we've scored from a corner all season so far. Look at that leap. I think we found our new Christopher Julien. That's a good start. That's a really, really good start. Just pure footballing brilliance by Celtic. There's Devlin there right back. Pittman plays it down the line. Holt gets hold of it. Cuts it back into... Uh, oh, no. Pittman. Altai. Two saves off the line. Oh, my word, Altai. And he comes and claims that like a monster. What a monstrous... Beast he is. Go on, old Thai lad. We'll keep the faith in you. Moy wins it. Plays it down the line for Yotta. He's got GG there. Oh, what a cycle kick. Georgios Giacomakis with a beautiful volley. Good grief. It's 2 0 after just 12 minutes. Look at that for a volley. Look at that. That's special. McGregor to Moy. Back to Terenariga. Left footed as well. So that's good. He's come forward. Giving it to Yotta on the right. Yotta. Got two men on him. Finds Correa. Lays it back for McGregor. Oh, he shot wide at a post. 
Pereira wins the header. Yota on the right now. Gets to the byline, pulls it back for Moy. Lays it across. Oh, penalty. McGregor was took down there, ref. Isaiah Munoz. Is it the post? Oh, Yota's put it in the back of the net. Get in. Munoz with a sh shot and absolutely clattered off the post. Into the path of Yota. I thought we were going to get a penalty right there. Holt takes McGregor down. McGregor appeals for it. Ref says play on. And the ref is lucky because I'd be spewing right now if we didn't get that. After 16 minutes, it's 3 0. All that wheeling and dealing in the transfer market. We've got Correa, Munoz, Torin Orega, Eddie Nielsen, and Altai in the starting lineup from the beginning of uh, the season. There's five changes in this 11. So we haven't thrown the baby out with the bath water yet. I say yet because <laughs> the game's still young. Um. Here we go, Tony Rega's picked up a yellow card now. Moy to Correa. Gio Kamakis looking for Kyogo. He's through. Oh, he snuck it under the keeper. Kyogo has got his 12th goal of the season. It's 4 0 after 23 minutes. Oh, it's going to get embarrassing for Livy. It's. It's just going to get embarrassing. Now let's just praise the entire team. Give them a bit more confidence. I think we'll probably be better in Europe as well. As long as I've got enough Scottish players in the squad to actually, you know, put a squad together. Because <laughs> you need so many... Oh, yeah, James Forrest, I think, went Bournemouth. Um, so he left. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, but, yeah, we need need a few. I'm hoping that a lot of the young lads we've just signed, who are going to join us at the end of the season, they'll be at the club for at least three years and be registered with us. And that'll help a lot, if they make it. And if not, we'll get 40% sell-ons, flog them cheap, Make some money down the line. Here's Yota pulling it back for Eddie Nielsen. On the right hand side he finds Moy on the byline. Gives it back to Eddie Nielsen. Low flat cross. GG Kamakis. Can't get to it but Kyogo does. And I think the referee is being a bit of a douchebag here. Is he allowed it? The ball comes in. Gio Kamakis shot block. Kyogo volleys it. That should be a goal. And it is 5-0. I thought he disallowed it. 5-0 by half time. Okay. Outstretched arms. It's about as good as you're going to see, boys. Well done. Sorry for it being a long episode today. Um, that's what transfer window is, really, isn't it? Oh, Correa flashes it past the post. Yeah, for you lot, it's been about 30 minutes. Um, in this video, for me, it's been about seven hours. I swear. Um, oh, a lot of times. Please drop a like on the video. Make sure you get in the comments. Uh, Moy's looking a bit knackered, so we're going to bring Gagliardini on for half an hour. Build his fitness back up. Um, we'll bring McKenna on for Turin Arega. Um, we'll do that straight away. Um, Ian Nunes will bring on Greg Taylor in his place. McGregor, um, we'll bring on Rojas for him. Okay. 10 minutes to go. Still 5 0. Kyogo's going to take a penalty. Oh, and he scores it. Get in, lad. Wasn't even aware we got given a penalty there. It's too busy making the sub. Thiago Santos get him on for his uh, debut as well. Freddy Nielsen. Here's Thiago Santos now throwing to Yota. Nice volley into the bots. GG's at the back stick. It's 7-0.
21st goal of the season for Giacomakis. Get in, son. I'm hoping that little Portuguese link up down the right hand side, Thiago Santos and Yotta, will work quite well. Here's McKenna. He's already picked up a yellow card and he's lost it to Shinny. Oh, you are Pash. Recover and tackle, please. Oh, he nearly lost our clean sheet there because of McKenna. Ooh. Praise the boys. Let's be balanced. Here's McKenna. What's he doing? Little tippy tappy steps. Scott McKenna in FM23 is a joke. He really, why did I just spent six million on him? Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? See, after you sign him, then you realise, oh yeah, I've signed him before, and oh yeah, I shouldn't have done. Oh bugger. Um. So <laughs> that. It, it keeps our lead to 16 points above Rangers. Um, they beat Hearts 3-2. Stephen Humphreys, former Rochdale la uh, player. Former Rochdale player twice, actually. Um, he did well for us. Works hard. He's from Oldham originally, uh, but we'll hold that against him. Decent lad. Real nice lad, actually. Um, let's see. Seven heaven for Celtic. Uh, Paul Lambert says Matus Franca is smart business. There you go. Um, Terran Arega scores on his debut. Gia Kamakis, two shots. Uh, sorry, two goals and two assists. Gonna have to praise his performance, aren't we? And that says, I'm gonna love you and leave you there. That is, that's a long old video. Um, and a long old time my ass has been sat in this chair and I need to get up and walk. Um, if my legs still work. So we've got a pretty decent sized squad, full of quality now. Um, I'm hoping that we do actually um, do something in Europe, uh, something decent. We're going to have to have a little look at the players that are unavailable at the moment. So Max Kilman, how is he injured? He's just arrived. Oh, he suffered an injury on the 25th of January. He's out for two to nine days. How the hell did he pass his medical? You're having a bubble. Um, yeah. Gear, the right back, he's going to come back to us from San Lorenzo. Raul Torrente, centre half, he's going to come back from Granada. Um, they should be good. Lewis Strap, we've just seen, and Scotty Robertson should come back better. Adam Brooks, by the way. Sneaky little player, he could be decent. He's Hartlepool on loan. Rocco Vata, FC Edinburgh on loan. Looks like he's got injured though. Um, Adam Montgomery. Again, you know, we need Scottish players in and around. So, um, yeah, Bernabe has come back to fitness as is Falcao and Gallardini. We should be okay. We should be okay. But where is that? Franca, Matus Franca, has he gone into the B team? Because I swear to God, Mackenzie Cars. <clears throat> right, six point two to seven point two. He, he's just gonna have to um go into our um. He's resting. Okay, I was gonna say he's gonna have to go into our um. Senior side. Ayeti. You're a hider. Oh my god. There's players here. That we're going to have to sell. In the summer. Liam Scales. Liam Shaw. I'd forgotten all about these. Mikey Johnston. Right, we'll have to keep him in a senior squad because uh, Scottish players needed is Myla Sorrow. There we go. We've got some really, really decent players here. And I'm just wondering where the bloody hell 
Matus Franca, what is he doing in the under 18s? He's worth 15.5 million quid, you numpties. Kerr Smith, get him in the senior side as well. Good grief. Lennon Miller, 3.9 million, Jesus. 16 year old. He looks good. Um, Rory McLeod, 1.3 million. I think I've signed both of them. Um, and not for the like kind of money. Right, Degrino. He was the young Brazilian lad. I wondered where he'd gone to. Um, I'll move him into senior squad. And David Ricardo. I think senior squad as well. I basically lost some of the players I'd signed to the under 18s. Shit. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, we should look a lot better now. Right, so I'm going to go take the dogs out for a walk because they're screaming at me at the moment uh, downstairs. And I will love you all and leave you all. See you later. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Take care. God bless. See you soon.